Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and Phoenix Resurrection, The Return of Jean Grey, issue number two of five. So, <laughs> this is, I think I'm starting to actually understand what's going on. Like, we see the, the scene in space where there's big solar eruptions all over the place, and, well, one, but that's enough. That's enough. And we just see all these different phenomena around, but the, the X-Men are actually looking for these phenomena, and they can't really find anything. But then all of a sudden, one group, they're walking around, and unfortunately, freaking Iceman is there, which is good because he's probably one of the best suited to fight Magneto, but Magneto shows up. Old school Magneto. Magneto from back when uh, Jean Grey was alive. Yeah, you notice that? So, uh, on the Jean Grey front, we get to see that... Uh, Jean Grey is still in her diner. She's rushing to try and get there. She's always late. All this good stuff. And uh, at, at one point, she, she sees uh, Jamie Madrox is out mowing her lawn. And she makes the comment, you know, Jamie, wow, I, I feel like you're everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's because he is. He's the multiple man. <clears throat> we see that Magneto actually shows up at the restaurant. And we're just watching as all these different phenomena are happening. But then at one point... Magneto seems to disappear from the restaurant, and that's when he goes and he's fighting the X-Men, led by uh, Bobby Drake, adult Bobby. And through it, he actually orders a cup of coffee <laughs> to them. And like, uh, does anybody notice how weird this is? And then at one point he just disappears and he goes back to the restaurant, just appears back in the restaurant. So, look... Jean Grey got that little tiny sliver of the Phoenix Force back in the Jean Grey issue number 10 uh, or earlier, whatever. Anyway, uh, issue 9, I think it was, um, from Emma Frost. And now the Phoenix is like, ooh, yeah, I remember this. <laughs> and, and just her memories of Jean Grey, well, the Phoenix's memories of Jean Grey and trying to make sense of everything. Like, that's that's what I think that this comic book is so far. And just either way, it's great. It's really great. Like, I love, every, like, this episode, first off, this issue should have been called Bobby Drake is a Jerk. You know, Iceman is a Jerk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just, it was, wow, really out there. But all that aside, um, seeing the X-Men run around all over the place, the little commentary here and there, the commentary on, oh my God, please shut up, Beast, you talk too much. The, the commentary of, hey, Kitty, you know, I hope you're enjoying Jamaica Bay and that nice beach, you know. Uh, we're kind of enjoying this uh, sewer that you sent us to. Like, Guido's great. <laughs> and Dazzler was in here. I actually got to see Dazzler's face. That was cool. Um, yeah, whatever. This was a great comic book. I'm giving this an A. This is a good read. I'm enjoying trying to figure out what the heck is going on. And legit, just more of this, please. All right, guys, we're going to figure out more as uh, the issues go on. we got three more issues to go, and then right into Jean Grey. And then uh, next month in February, X-Men Red, where Jean Grey is actually back. So, all right, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.